Hi, my name is Jim Morris. And I work with NSF International. I'd like to introduce a concept called the Kappa Hierarchy. At NSF, we do a tremendous amount of root cause analysis training, and we help companies improve their investigation system and their investigation reports. We put forward a good number of tools, and the Kappa Hierarchy is one of the most simple yet most powerful tools in our toolbox. I'd like to explain how it works, provide some context, and also offer some tips on its implementation. First, some context. There are three facts to bear in mind. The number one cited weakness in pharmaceutical quality management systems today is the investigation system. Secondly, we spend a tremendous amount of time conducting investigations and writing investigation reports in our companies. And thirdly, we see a lot of reoccurring issues. Whether you're a small site managing, say, 100 investigations a year, or a larger site managing upwards of 1,000 to 1,200 investigations a year, 10 to 20% of those will be reoccurring. That's a significant number. It also represents a significant opportunity. And that's where the cap hierarchy plays a role. So how does it work? Picture a sliding scale with elimination at one end and mitigation at the other. And in between, we have replacement, facilitation, and detection. Often what investigators will do is they'll conduct their root cause analysis, identify corrective and preventative actions, and often those corrective and preventative actions or kappas are at the lower end of the scale. They may come up with a way to detect the defect and remove it. They may come up with a way to facilitate a task, but often in doing so, they're adding complexity, adding steps to an SOP. And what we want to do is encourage investigators to move up the Kappa hierarchy and identify ways to replace the technique, to replace a step, or eliminate the root cause altogether. As an example, take a solid oral manufacturing operation where you have blending, tableting, and subsequently packaging. And let's say you have an issue at the blending step, specifically around sample handling and testing. Well, why not eliminate the test at the blend step and test downstream at the tableting step. We've essentially eliminated the root cause. I know it's not that simple, and I know that there can be regulatory implications, but we need to think out of the box, and we need to think elimination. That's the beauty of the Kappa hierarchy. It provides a structured approach that literally forces investigators to think of robust Kappas. Another advantage of the Kappa hierarchy is that it's relatively straightforward to implement. Granted, it requires that investigators and reviewers already understand root cause analysis, but it provides them with a methodology so that they can identify the most robust corrective and preventative actions. We have found that companies that embrace the Kappa hierarchy not only improve investigation reports, but they can significantly reduce the level of reoccurrence in their companies, and that's where the true value lies. Thanks for your time.